story of Bonnie and Clyde centers around two bank robbers, Clyde Barrow and Bonnie Parker, who murdered and robbed their way across America in the 1930s. Now, as well as being extremely violent, the movie portrays Bonnie and Clyde with a great deal of humour and presents them as the ultimate 60s anti-heroes. The original screenplay for Bonnie and Clyde detailed the homosexual experiences of the movie's leading character, Clyde Barrow. So it was very surprising that an actor with such a rampantly heterosexual image as Warren Beatty was attracted to the project in the first place. Beatty had been looking for a movie which he could produce, direct and star in, and he felt that Bonnie and Clyde was the ideal vehicle for him. The original writers thought the first thing that Beatty would do would be to get rid of all of the homosexual elements of his character, but surprisingly, Beatty wanted to keep them all in. It wasn't until Beatty hired Arthur Penn as the director that Penn changed the character of Clyde Barrow and he got rid of all the homosexual elements. But as both producer and star of the movie, Beatty knew he had to pay particular attention to the actors he cast. The role of Bonnie Parker was a pivotal one, and Beatty considered Natalie Wood, Tuesday Weld, and even his sister, Shirley MacLaine. Again, it was Penn who suggested casting the relatively unknown Faye Dunaway in the role that really, really changed her whole career. Bonnie and Clyde also features Gene Hackman in what was probably his biggest role up until then, and in his screen debut, look out for a very brief appearance by a very, very young Gene Wilder. When it was first released, Bonnie and Clyde was not a big hit. It was only after Warren Beatty insisted that Warner Brothers re-release it in bigger theatres that it proved successful. It went on to be nominated for 10 Academy Awards and eventually won two, including one for Best Supporting Actors for S.L. Parsons. It's debatable whether the real Bonnie and Clyde possessed any of the qualities of their screen counterparts, but it does make for a hugely enjoyable film.